Hi Aries, welcome to your end of April Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, let's see what is going on for you energy-wise for the end of April in love. I'm going to take a look at the energy and see what comes out. For Aries, please, thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Male or female, general collective reading for Aries, please. Thank you so much. Oop, gonna take that one. Definitely did get a flyer. I'm putting a couple cards aside here from the bottom of the deck, Aries, and I'll tell you a little bit about those in a second. So what do we have here? We have Frisia, the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. So there may be something here that you may have to wait till you feel like it's a holy hell yes and not like, eh, well, maybe, I'm not sure. So that could be a message here. And we have, I'm not even going to try to say that, the high priestess. I am one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love. High priestess, it's all about intuition, higher knowing, trusting in that and who you are, that, you know, being discerning and, you know, waiting for the absolute right thing, right time, what you truly um, want and desire and not just settling for well yeah I guess yes it'll do nope so high priest I mean some could be Pisces dealing with well not could be Pisces is for Aries maybe you have Pisces in your chart um, could be dealing with the Pisces or somebody has Pisces in their chart All right well I guess we're going to take those two since they kind of wanted to pop out there Aries so welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Please only take what resonates for you. Leave the rest, including the signs mentioned. And we have door to value, 31-4, very stable energy. Exactly, knowing your value, your worth, what you are worthy of, not selling for less. And we have attachment, which is five, which is about challenges and change. So there may be something or someone you're a little bit attached to and maybe you're not getting exactly what you want out of this connection. And uh, maybe time to stand, you know, in your power, like your empress power and realize, you know what, maybe, you know, it's time to put my foot down. That could be the change here. We do have four or five. Something needs to progress. All right. And another one for Aries. Okay, the cards I'm placing over on the side here, Aries, those are for your extended reading. So if any of this does resonate for you, you can find everything you need to know about me and the channel in the extended reading down below. And we have individuality, 11. 11 is knowing, universe saying, it's okay to create your own path. Go in the direction you're feeling guided and led to go in and that starts by listening to your intuition and your higher knowing and it's okay to do it alone if you have to or to be your true authentic self it's okay to be different and we do have here spiritual <laughs> spirituality we have 11 and 77 so if you're seeing any combination of these numbers that could be significant for you but seven is a very spiritually divinely guided number so if you're being, being led spiritually by the divine, your intuition, your higher knowing, know the universe is, yes, you're getting those energies, messages, downloads, feelings on purpose because you're meant to go in this direction that you're feeling uh, guided and led to go to. So you could be having a spiritual awakening. You could be having, um, again, seeing signs, symbols, uh, songs, you know, seeing animals. I mean, anything here. And spirits like, yes, we're trying to send you spirits and uh, spirits, well, maybe spirits, signs and messages here. So I feel like, you know, this is a love reading. So I feel like if you're in a connection here where, yes, there may be a little bit of um, attachment, but um, I feel like for some of you may not be getting exactly what you want or you're not getting what you're worthy of in this connection. But there's that attachment there, which hmm, you may need to detach just a little bit and be, you know, stand in your own power. That individuality card. All right, we're going to clarify these oracles. Going to do it a little bit different, so I hope you like this style. Let me clarify the oracles here. So we have Freya, 
the goddess of discernment. Like I read that from here. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. So why is that here for Aries? Why is that here for Aries? The two of pentacles energy. Yep, the eight of coins. I'm going to take one more here in the full. So I feel like here, you know, if someone's juggling you, you know, either with other people or other responsibilities in their life, and they're not making you a priority or this relationship a prior, uh, priority, maybe time to walk away here. And, you know, maybe this person will rush back in and say, well, you know what, you know, I was wrong and let's start over fresh and new and new energy here. Or this is you just going out on your own and kind of taking that fool's journey here. It's Aquarius energy here. That's kind of what I feel. So... Again, if you have somebody juggling you around, not making you or this relationship a priority, it may be time to kind of take a chance in a new direction. Take this, take a chance in a new direction, make a choice in a new direction, change up the energy, and you'll be surprised what happens here. Yeah, maybe feeling a little bit stuck in this uh, connection here and at a crossroads. That's what I feel. All right. So the High Priestess energy, I am one with my soul, and my soul is a legacy of love. Okay, so this, again, listen to your intuition, your higher knowing. Well, this is here for Aries. Okay, we got two more. So we got, yeah, Four of Cups, and I felt that. You may be feeling a little discontented in this relationship, like, okay, I'm not getting my needs met. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling, you know, this is what I anticipated in a romantic relationship so again we have energy here of kind of like moving on could be traveling or distance but cancer energy here this is drive ambulance am, drive if i can speak today mary drive um balance you know going after what we want ambition is what i was trying to say but it also leads to success and victory and we have the light in the dark here so it could be that right now the two of you aren't seeing eye to eye so maybe there's a need to go in a new direction just to see what happens here Seven of Swords. So again, and sometimes it's an energy for me. It can be about lies or deceit. Or for me, it can be running out of something, getting out of something. Like, I just got to get away. Got to get out of this. I can't just, I can't do this anymore. I just got to get out. That's kind of the energy I get with this. Ace of Pentacles. So by doing this, they may actually come in with a solid offer. Are you going to have something better on the horizon here? If it's not with this person, Aries. Oh, okay, so door to value. Why is that here for Aries? Door to value. Why is that here for Aries, please? Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to take these. So we have, wow, the Empress, and that's what I just spoke of, uh, Libra, Taurus, the Four of Wands. So this is stability. And we have the Page of Wands. So this could be good news, something exciting, a new offer of some kind four of wands and no it could be that maybe you even lived with this person or maybe you were just dating them you know this is my stability in the home front it can be soulmate twin flame it can be dating getting to know moving in getting married ceremony celebrations but this is you know some of you maybe had a child or expecting with this person and maybe you know you were expecting to you know say okay they're going to come in here and they're going to want to you know, move in or get married or settle down with you. If there's a child involved for some, but um, I, I think you'd be fine on your own for some if you're worried about doing that and being, you know, individual over here, individuality. Uh, you know, you may have, you know, help and friends here, from, help and guidance from friends here with the Page of Wands. But this could be something exciting and new coming in that you may not expect. Or this could, you know, again, could be this person coming back. Nine of Cups energy. So wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. It can be uh, self-fulfilling energy, though. And then we have the Hierophant under here, which could be, again, about marriage, commitment, uh, doing what's moral, just, and right, spirituality, faith. Taurus energy there. And here, slow moving. Taurus again, bringing in that solid, stable offer. So, but then can turn into the King of Shields, which can be... Uh, that long-term partner that we seek. And that could be Virgo energy. So what is this with attachment for 
Aries. For Aries. What is this for Aries? Oh, almost flipped. There we go. You tell me to take from the bottom. Okay. So we have, there's the Knight of Shields coming in again, Taurus, and the Knight of Swords. Wow, happening very quickly here. That could be Aquarius and the High Priestess. So there's that High Priestess, Pisces energy, which is right here. So again, needing to listen to your intuition and higher knowing. And I feel like if I'm feeling the energy here that there may be like an attachment in some way, but it's time to like detach because we have individuality right next to it. And by, you know, if you're getting that gut feeling, you know, I think I need to de detach from this. And if they truly want this, then let them come back to me and prove them that they want this. If not, I'm moving on. And I think once you get into that energy and maybe do that, it's going to prove to this person that you're serious. And they may actually come back very quickly here with that solid offer. Or this could be somebody new coming in. But we have um, the Knight of Shields, which could be um, Capricorn, or the Knight of Swords, which could be Aquarius. Now, they could, these could be any signs and charts, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Solid offer coming in very, very quickly here. Someone, yeah, you may stress somebody out by doing this with the Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. This is going to turn this dynamic in a whole new direction here with the Wheel, Sagittarius Energy, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio, Eight of Swords. So there's that trapped energy being um, attached. It's kind of like the same energy. All right, so let's see what individuality is for an 11. I know I always say to me it's kind of like half the twin flame number, but it doesn't have to be. 11 is being on the right path. Universe is like you're going in the right direction. Keep going, whatever that may be for you. So let's see what this individuality is for Aries, please. Thank you so much. All right, so there's that Eight of Swords, yeah, about being trapped and bound to something, but it's time to become an individual person here. So we have temperance here with the, um, yeah, temperance, <laughs> just Sagittarius. So this is healing, balance, being patient with yourself, which will bring in peace and harmony, uh, healing. And this is, to me, also soulmate resurrection. And here's my Ace of Swords. So this is divine clarity from source, epiphany, awakening, aha moment, successful new beginning, Cutting away energy is no longer serving. Honest, truthful, open communication conversations here. All right. Yeah, here comes the conversations here with the communication, travel, action, with the Eight of Wands. Magician making it happen here. Gemini Virgo, Ten of Wands, Page of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like... I um, definitely feel like, you know, you may be staying with this person, even though they're not giving you exactly what you want or the, the connection, this uh, attention this connection deserves. But I think if you disconnect, and now it's totally up to you, not telling anyone what to do here, but if you've been feeling that energy, you know, I think I need to d disconnect from this person. And if they truly want me, then let them come get me. It's kind of what I'm getting. And I think they just might here for some. Either that or you're going you're gonna to have something better coming in. But let's see what this spirituality is. This is resonating for you, Aries. Please do give it a like. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. It would help me and my channel out. Thank you, thank you. And do uh, comment. Let me know what's going on for you. All right. What is spirituality about here for? Oh, okay. We've got a flyer. Well, here's reunion. Well, there we go. The Three of Cups. And, you know, we have three women on there, so I don't feel Three of Cups to me isn't always about cheating or third parties. Um, but to me, that's a social community, you know, people coming together. Well, there you go, Two of Cups, Soulmate Union. Oh, my goodness. All right, Two and the Three of Cups. And then we have the King of Shields, Virgo Energy. And again, this is that long-awaited soul partner that significant other that you've wanted that you've wanted them to be and leveling up in that king of pentacles energy someone who is loyal grounded true stable practical giver caretaker well not i don't want to say caretaker but can take care of themselves and others if they have to a provider virgo energy there wow so we start with someone juggling and then now they're coming through as this king of pentacles Wow. Yeah, Five of Cups. So, again, loss and not feeling fulfilled here. But then, King of Swords speaking our truths here. Gemini energy. 
and then here comes that Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning in love, or a love renewal, or fully being engulfed in this full potential of love of this connection, and not just juggling it around, and not making it a priority. Because someone took the wheel here and drove it in a new direction, I feel, Aries, or needs to. Right, let's look at these cards over here before we go into your extended reading and see what's going to happen here. So we have the first woman, the goddess of light, action, adjacent possibilities, completion, and environment. Hmm. Okay, Gary, so if you go the extended, I shall see you there. If not, send you many light, love, and blessings, and I will see you next time.